makes two of us. I hope it ultimately didn't end up being too much trouble. Are you father and daughter? You both have the same orange eyes. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Right, Sarah, we're docked. Let's go see if we can find uh, Captain Moira, Vanguard Moira, Moara. You know, one day I'll get the name right. Valuable? Uh. I would consider it valuable. Maybe not to you, though. a demoralizing modified Grindel. All right, over encumbered. I think we can throw away some of these uh, extra guns here. You have what, four equinoxes. These are valuable though. All right, these Grindles are less valuable. We can throw these out.
let's see, didn't I have, isn't this some kind of, yeah, instigating rattler, I guess I can throw this one away. Vanguard Moira? Is that you? Ah, am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? We're from the Explorers Group Constellation. We need to talk. What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories too. About a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Hmm. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? It'll be better in our hands. Hey, I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact. Oh, here it is. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. Um, can we take the ship? No? All right, well. Good luck to you, fellow Vanguard. It's too bad I couldn't introduce myself as a Vanguard. sure I got everything. Captain on deck. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate the respect. All right. Let's prepare for departure. He said back to the lodge.
go. Sarah, come on. You're back. Did you I am at your service, Captain. You have it. Go ahead. Do the honors. It fits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Really? I thought I already was. Oh, now you're giving me the, the helmet and spacesuit. All right, well... What does it mean to be a full member? Honestly, this just makes it more official. Call it right person, right place, right time. But once the artifacts started coming together, you were one of us. <laughs> okay. I expected champagne. Well, if you ever find a relic bottle from Earth, we'll all be happy to share it with you. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. <laughs> Why ask me? Why not somebody who's been here longer? Oh, we'll be working with everyone here at the Lodge sooner or later. Constellation is all in on this. Sometimes we'll partner up, sometimes we'll go solo. It's not a formal arrangement. We just came back with good news. We've got momentum. Why not keep going? All right, you got it. Let's get back out there. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it, no other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. So, before we do, uh, who is Samco, and what is this expedition of his? Oh, that's right. He wasn't here when you first showed up. He should be back by now. I'll let him handle the introductions. If I steal his thunder, I'll never hear the end of it. And what can you tell me about Barrett, anyway? His mind is always somewhere, but there's no arguing his knack for being in the right place at the wrong time. Oh, too bad he couldn't see the artifacts coming together. But knowing him, he'll be so excited when he gets a look, it won't occur to him that he's missed anything. <laughs> and what's the eye, and who is Vladimir? We maintain a star station in orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, Noel. As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. Uh, I've got some organic resources for you, and I'm still waiting for my tour. Okay, let's take a look.
Stay safe, okay? Yeah. You too. Oh, what's what's out here? I cannot wait to meet him. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. Well, this does not bode well. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. And you must be Samco, the Freestar Collective expert. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila Moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons... Well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. It's good to meet you, Cora. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hm. Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Only that it was in Freestar Collect... G G G <laughs> Only that it was in Freestar Collective space. Sure enough. That's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Freestar Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. All right, well, I'm still getting my bearings. Let's head out later. I guess it wouldn't hurt. We just got back from a supply run anyway. Let me know when you're ready. All right, Sarah. So I think I've got like a, a dozen missions now. to do. All right, you know what? We're going back to Mars. Oh gosh, 50 enemies. I've only killed five. some more hmm, and destroy five ships recycled air just isn't the same as the real thing all right we're getting out of here
maintain course and prepare to be scanned. And we're done. Enjoy Sidonia. Sidonia. Oh, come on. Where's the ship? The Red Devils aren't exactly your average bar crowd. You can see it in their eyes. We don't belong here. Yeah. I'll see if I can get rid of the dead. And I look forward to hearing the good news. Hey, you. Maybe a bounty hunter? Can I help you? Heard you talking with Lou. So you're going to help Dr. Walker? Well, it doesn't sound like I've really got another option for finding him. Yeah, sure, sure. Listen, I know how you can do it without having to resort to any... B and E. Aqueous hematite. Mars is full of it. People think it's just garbage. But Percival and I, we've been working on some projects in the deep mines, at least when he wasn't slaving away at his trade authority contract, but we stumbled on a way to make it useful and profitable. You give our research over to Octai at the trade authority, it should more than cover Percival's debt. That guy's always looking for an angle. Aqueous hematite, what's that? It's mostly iron in about three centuries of human water runoff, though only Percival would be able to tell you all the trace elements and whatnot. But it builds up around human settlements, and something about the Martian soil changes it, it makes it into something new, and we think we found a use for it. So, I'm sorry, who are you? Oh, I'm Cambridge. I was Percival's assistant. Really? Apprentice, really. Couldn't work in the mines anymore, so he gave me a job helping with some of his side projects. Know his experiments inside and out, and I know this one was gonna be big. Projects? Were you guys making Kims or something? No, 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 no. That's well, too many no's. Yes, but, but the medical kind. I'd help him make whatever the city was running low on that month, and we'd sell it to the miners for cheap. But the trade authority got wind and wanted their cut. And then some. I presume there's a reason why you haven't handed it over already. Well, yeah. We were never able to finish the research. Spacers moved in and ran us out. Started setting up shop. Oh dear. I believe I see where this is leading. But if you can clear them out, 
I can walk you through how to finish the research. Mm, the then you can give it over again. to the Trade Authority. They'll get folks working in the deep mines again. Jobs come back, I become a modern-day folk hero. <laughs> then I don't have to sleep on an inflated spacesuit anymore. What happened to the jobs on Mars? <sighs> Biggest employer on Mars has always been Demo Star Yards. After the Colony War, Armistice meant they needed a lot fewer warships. Fewer ships meant fewer minerals. That meant a lot of folks scrounging for work around here. All right, just tell me where this mine is. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So access to the deep mines can be found outside the city. It's not far. Shouldn't even need to hop back in your ship. We'd set up right near the main drill. Taking out the spacer leader should get the message across to the rest of them to buzz off. Once you've managed that, phone up here on the comms panel, and I can walk you through finishing the research. All right, Sarah. Guess we don't have to, uh... Steal Seek a community center representative to plan your event or regular gathering today. The settled systems are sadly no stranger to terraform attacks, but how and why? Keep a lookout. Notify us if you see anything suspicious. This guy's just gonna walk outside without a, a suit. Me? You wanna talk to me? No, I wanna go outside. something else I need to do before we go any further. Where's our ship? I'm gonna take a nap. I'm tired. and shine. We've got things to do. Yes, we do. Let's go. Okay, that was changes dead amount. Where's the other thing? 
thing. Kill the space elite in the deep mines. That's what we're doing. up there. It is. Sarah, you need help? I think it's this way. Let's go.
Access stairs lead deeper into the mines. I hope we remember the way back to the surface. There's a lot more enemies.
Sarah, I know that's not you talking like that. See if they've got any weapons or ammo. They do. See him. Still not through all these enemies. All right, let's see what we got here. I think I might be able to level something up. Yeah, some pistols. I'll do 25% more damage.
Everybody, this sound like there was still somebody alive. Oh, Stop! not anymore. Frenzy combat have a talk knife. When you have the time, of course. Oh boy. What is it? Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Bectera. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? Hmm. That's a strange question to be asking out of nowhere. Maybe, but I'd appreciate it if you'd hear me out. Oh boy. I've got more important things to deal with right now. More important? Yes. Okay. Like staying well, alive. let me know when you can fit me into your busy schedule. Oh, I certainly will. And could, could you put the light out? It's, it's blinding me. What's this? Staple gun. All right, so... What are we doing now? Are we leaving? Contact Cambridge on the comms panel. the other one. Hematite, now what?
anything else. Oh. A nuclear fuel rod. Out, Sarah. A modified Eon. This could possibly be better than the one I've got. When you have a few moments, there's something I'd like to discuss. Again? Can I help? I need to get rid of uh the stuff I'm carrying. Is this the way out? What, Sarah, what is Thanks it? Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about oh, the artifact. The you artifact found on again. Mechera. Really? When you pulled it from the rock. Sarah. Bye bye. Yeah. Come on. The... Wait. There's something else. All set? Good. You can take the elevator in that room back to the surface. There should be a key stashed in the thresh room if the spacers didn't make off of it. I'll be waiting at the circle. All right, I already got the key, the elevator. Let's go. All right. You've got the slate. Let me see. Reduced joint wear? Oh, increased lifting capacity? A dose of this stuff could make a miner way more efficient. This formula's got to be worth at least as much as whatever Percival owes. Okay, so here's what you do. Tell Octai and the Trade Authority you found a business proposal that will make miners more efficient, higher yield, synergy, you know, all that business crap. And that you'll trade it to him for clearing Percival's debt. You good at doing pitches and stuff like that? <laughs> Why don't you want me to ask for money? You can try if you feel confident, but I didn't want to push our luck. Besides, if that drug gets big, I think everyone benefits. So, you think you can sell them on it? I can give it a whirl, sure. Aw, oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, and here, a copy of the formula for yourself, in case you ever want to try maximizing your own industrial output. Oh, use that if you can. Good luck. All right, Sarah, come on. All right, sir. Was there something else? Yes, there is. I have a business proposal for you. A lucrative one. Hmm. I'm never one to turn away an opportunity. But I'd be curious what you think you've uncovered in the Martian market that others have missed. A chem made from aqueous hematite. I call it pick me up. Aqueous hematite, iron and wastewater. Well, I'm not surprised no one has proposed something like this before. And exactly what does this new drug of yours do? Hmm. Makes your miners more efficient. I've got the data here to prove it. Hmm. An interesting proposal, if your data pans out. But where's this hematite coming from? 
The active mines would be too expensive to retool. The deep mines could be an option, but they're full of spaces. Or so I've heard. I've already cleared them out. Now hold on. Yeah. So it won't cost you a credit to get started. Well now, that is intriguing. A completely untapped resource pool. And the sort of utility every mining firm in Sidonia would be clamoring to get their hands on. We could contract out all the actual lab work. Bring on one of the hungrier mining concerns for materials. The licensing fees alone. And think what it would do for our image with the general populace. This mine reopened thanks to the Martian Trade Authority. Very interesting indeed. And what do you want for the rights to this drug? I was hoping you would ask. I want you to clear Percival's debt. Dr. Walker's debt? That's it? Consider it wiped. Well, it seems we have a deal then. And here, a finder's fee from the Authority. A perfectly reasonable amount for a discovery with this sort of potential. Wouldn't want you feeling shortchanged down the road. We'll just be taking that slate before you have any second thoughts. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Captain. You too. This is a courtesy reminder that right. despite the low gravity on Mars, a fall into Sidonia's so lower level is we still need to find to Dr. Walker. Or death. Please exercise caution near balcony edges. Alright, what... Who else do I need to talk to? took care of Percival's debt to the Trade Authority. Did you now? Fine work. My end of the bargain then, I suppose. He's holed up in the old Red Devil's HQ. Place was sealed up tight after the UC shuttered our unit, but we snuck him in the back entrance through the deep mines. Was also going to warn you about spaces down there. But it sounds like you might have already tossed those dregs. Yeah, the passkey. I'll let him know there's someone he owes one hell of a thank you on their way down. Okay. Let's go, Sarah. We're finally starting to get to the bottom of all this. I have ever taken. Finally. Now you want to explain to me why you're going around harassing the various old men by wiping away their hard-earned debts? Do you know how long it took me to find you? Take this damn sample. Oh, I'm sorry my forced into exile lifestyle inconvenienced you. Oh, but if you came all this did. way just to deliver a sample, what exactly is it you brought me? Hmm. 
Terramorph cells from a world too young to have one. A fast-growing Terramorph. That is concerning. Who exactly told you to bring this to me? Hadrian Sanan. Hadrian? She's... She gave you this? Yes. If she made you come all the way for this... Let's get inside. I need to see these cells. When you have a few moments, there's something I'd like to discuss. I'm not talking yeah, to what you, is Sarah. It? No. I'm gonna ask you to not touch anything. Got some projects in the works down here, and I wasn't expecting guests. Oh, and Lou mentioned how you took care of the dead. Can't say I'm thrilled the Trade Authority got their mitts on the research, but I guess that's the price you pay not to live in a cave the rest of your days. All queued up. Let's gaze into this abyss, shall we? All right. Just get those cellular markers tagged. Wait. Where are the markers? This... this can't be right. This sample... it's... Londinian. I'll... I'll need to get this all in the slate. Adrian really gave you this sample? You're not lying to me? Because if you told me this was a hoax, and it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen, I'd be mad and very, very relieved. It's not a fake. I collected it from the Terramorph myself. Can't just humor an old man, huh? No. This sample. It's got all the indicators of the worst Terramorph attack in human history. I presume you've heard of Londinian. Yes. It sounds like quite the tragedy. It was. An entire city wiped off the map. The swarms are so bad, they had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack. But the ones that did, well, they look just like this one. I didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. I don't think it was transported to Talcetti. This specimen, it grew there. Faster than any Terramorph should. Which means, if we're about to start a new era in human Terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian-style attacks can happen outside Londinian, that's not going to end well for humanity. It would be the end of us as a species. So you lugged this bad omen all the way here. You want to tell me what your plans are for it now? Hmm. Well, orders are to take you and that analysis to Hadrian. She should be waiting at the Sixth Circle. The circle, huh? Could use a drink about now. Here, faster we take the lift to the surface. Not supposed to use it, but given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Let's get going. All right, this way. You know, hassling yourself anymore, Major. Our friend here showed me your sample. Suffice it to say. Not here. Let's talk somewhere more private. Lou said we could use the back. Lou gave me the abridged version of what went down. Yeah, I can't thank you enough for taking care of all that. Makes two of us. I hope it ultimately didn't end up being too much trouble. Are you father and daughter? You both have the same 
orange eyes. It's interesting. Um, well. Well, it was no walk in the park. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just glad you both came through it intact. So, were you two able to get that work up together? Got it right here. That sample? It's an exact match for the ones from Londinian. Londinian? That's... that's exactly what I was afraid of. Not thrilled to be the bearer of that kind of news, that's for damn sure. So tell me you've got some kind of plan for that workup. Well, right now, we've got more questions than answers. So I've been trying to figure out what it's gonna take to access our old Terramorph data. Good place to start. What'd you find? It's in the archives. The Armistice Archives? Doesn't that mean we'd be dealing with the Cabinet? And the Freestar Collective? And House Varun somehow? Guess we can kiss that approach goodbye. I didn't think the Cabinet would be willing to hear us out either. But I called in some favors. They've agreed to hear us out on two conditions. One, they want to see this analysis you two have procured. And two, they want to discuss what happened on Tau Ceti. With both of us. The Cabinet? What's that? The Cabinet's the UC's highest governing body. The President, top military brass, scientific and diplomatic division heads. Any major decision the UC makes goes through them. They're the only real chance we've got of unlocking the archives. So without their blessing, we're flying blind. What's the Armistice Archives, and what's it have to do with the Freestar Collective and House Varun? Well, when the Colony War came to a close 19 years ago, with the signing of the Armistice, three factions were involved in the negotiations. The UC, Freestar, and House Varun. They made a lot of decisions about what sort of tactics should and shouldn't be permitted in future conflicts. All information related to the things they decided should be banned was locked away in the archives. Now, it's possible to get things out of there, but only with the agreement of members from all three factions. And as to what our research is doing in there, well, I'll get to that. <laughs> All right. It doesn't sound like any run-of-the-mill data you're after. I'll take that explanation now. Of course. You deserve the full story. Percival and I, we're not just researchers. We were military scientists, ran a division of the UC together that deployed aliens on the battlefield as weapons. Place I was hiding out. That was our unit's home base. After some early fits and starts at other facilities, the place eventually became the heart of UC Xeno warfare. A practice that's been banned ever since the armistice went into effect almost 20 years ago. And the UC military cut us loose for what we'd done. That still doesn't explain what this Terramorph data is doing in the archives. Well, it was during that assignment that the UC asked us to explore deploying Terramorphs on the battlefield. The project never got off the ground, but the data our team gathered is now sitting in the archives, along with all the other information banned after the Colony War. Under the watchful eye of monitors from all the galactic factions still participating in regular politics. But if we can convince the Cabinet to help us access that data, it'll give us the tools we need to decipher what exactly this sample might mean. And hopefully, how to prevent more attacks like the one that spawned it. And why wouldn't the Cabinet agree to help us? I mean, I hope they will, given the evidence we've acquired. But getting the Freestar Collective and House Varun on our side, that won't be easy. Since neither group is exactly on great terms with the UC at the moment, for various reasons. Exactly. 
It's going to mean negotiations and deals and plenty of diplomatic legwork to see this through. But I don't see a better option to solving what's going on here. So it's going to be up to us to get them on board. Okay. Well, let's then go talk to the cabinet. All right. I'm going to go get this work up into the cabinet's hands. I'll meet you out front of Mast in New Atlantis. Good luck. You two are gonna need it. You got something for me? All right. It's time for us to head back. 